Welcome back to the Lost Facility devlog series, and this will be devlog number six. And we're going to be finishing up the terrain here, taking a look at the final touches, or at least what we, what I anticipate to be the pretty much final touches on the terrains. So as usual, this project file and everything will be included on Patreon. So if you wanna grab all of the height fields and everything, you can grab that on there, as well as the project file for Houdini and all of the project files that uh, I used to create these terrains. So let's go ahead and dive in and show just kind of what I did to get to this final step on our terrain. So up here is pretty much everything that we had uh, initially to set up the terrains. So um, all this up here is just setting up. Um, we created this, this little um, like canyon area. And then we created the landscape here that's kind of more of a flatter terrain. And then this last little bit over here is just the um, this mountain over here. So I decided ultimately that I was going to lump all of this into one, except for I've got some background dunes here that are far enough away that we shouldn't really need to see them. I also set up a camera in here. So I got a lot that we've done in this last uh, week or so. So let's just take a quick look at what we did here. So take in our original canyon, which is just an object merge. I've righted up some out nodes here. So desert floor, um, our canyon over here and our mountain over here. So I'm taking our canyon and I'm just kind of lowering it so that I can project it into our height field here and have it line up a little bit closer to the where the, um, the desert floor is. So if I take a look at our desert floor here, taking a transform, just moving it into place and then I am projecting, or I'm using, yeah, I'm projecting that onto our our huge terrain, which is a 5,000 by 5,000, and I've just offset it a little bit so that it lines up more in line with what we had um, initially. And then I'm using a height field layer here just to layer in our canyon and our, our base terrain here, our little um, desert floor. So I've just got a mask that I've drawn out there, and then I'm just blurring that a little bit just to get a smooth little gradient into our, our desert floor. And we're not gonna see too much of this, and it should be in movement, so it doesn't really matter too much how much it works as far as blending in or how harsh this is. So. We then take uh, our desert floor here. Again, I've transformed this and I've moved it back a little bit more. And I'm doing that just to get that last piece of our terrain there. And then I'm just using a mask to just blend that into our terrain. So mask and then blur, and then a height field layer to just blend these two pieces together. And then I've taken the desert mountain and if it will load up, it's thinking, think about it, there we go, kind of higher res. So I'm taking that, I am projecting that onto our terrain, and you can see that we have this edge here, but for the most part, it is mostly on the ground, uh, the where we have this height field at. So it should blend in because that is lower than where we are um, with our desert floor should blend in okay but we adjust it with a height field pop and i'm just adding it just to bring it up a little bit closer to what we need and then i'm again using some mass to just mass it out and get that to blend into our terrain a little bit better and i am this is important to know i am using a transform up here and i'm scaling this up two times so it is a little bit bigger. And then I'm bringing in, I didn't actually name this one, which I should do, I'll do that later, but I'm bringing in a, another terrain here, which if we look is just a, another mountain. It's based off of the same thing that I used to generate the desert mountain. 
um, but that'll be included in the project file as well. And then I'm just moving that up with a constant and the height field bop, moving that into place, which just so happens to be right there, and projecting that all onto where I need it to be. And then it, again, I'm using a height field bop on this original height field to get it into place so that it is more of a flat, um, I'm adding just a constant there, so that this projection is uh, kind of keeping it flat or more flat onto our terrain so that we don't have a couple of different layers that we're trying to uh, blend into. It just makes it work a little bit better. So I'm taking a mask with that and blurring that, or actually I'm shrinking that, and then I'm blurring it. And then I'm layering that into our terrain that we had initially. Then I've got a convert height field here, and again, I didn't name this height field over here, but I'm taking a height field over here that is converted to get our final um, our final mesh, and then I'm just putting the sand dunes in the back here into place. So this is what they are, nothing too fancy. I'm just converting them and then just kind of merging them together. And the reason that I do that separately is just because, like I said, it's in, gonna be in the background, I think, so it's not gonna really matter too much. We shouldn't see it too, too much. So you can see that we have this lined up behind our our mountains so that they're kind of, um, kind of somewhat blending into the terrain there. And then I have a camera here that's set up and a follow path constraint. I'll go over this in a different video probably. Uh, you can grab it in the project file about how to set up a like a follow path type setup in Solaris. That way, if anyone's looking for that, they can get that through there. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I press play. You can see we're just kind of moving through the scene here. And we just, it's just a, a simple camera move and then our facility will be over here. It's kind of what I'm going for. I may, I'll probably actually shrink this down somewhat. So uh, the final animation, we may start like here or something and then just have it play out. But I don't know, we'll, we'll see how that ends up. But that is the camera move. And if you want to see how I created the sand dunes, because that's kind of an interesting thing inside of Gaia. Um, it's not super difficult, but this is the, the final shape um, with it zero bordered out. We take a sand, and I've just scaled it up quite a bit, changed the height uh, quite a bit as well, uh, as well as changed our uniformity. And I take a transform, and I'm just scaling that up just to have those more like a stretched out dune type look. And then I take a purlin with a pretty high scale, and I'm just displacing those. So we go from this to this just to add a little bit of some waviness to it. Then I take a, another sand down here with, uh, I think these are the exact same settings actually. Yeah, the exact same settings except for a different seed. I'm just blending them. And these are a little bit more. So I had an 800% on this scale and then on this scale I've got 400% just to give us a little bit more dunes, a little bit less stretched out. And then again, a purlin, I think these are the same as well. They are just different seeds and displacing those just to get some waviness to our, to our shapes there. So you can see you go from that to this. And then I'm combining that together. And that just gives a little bit of break up here. And this blur or this purlin is used as our mask to kind of break that in there and I'm using an add blend mode and then I'm just blurring that out just to get those shapes to be a little bit softer. I'm using a recurve to really bring back those real harsh curves. You see we get before, really focus like right here, you get um, those blurred curves and then just our recurve just kind of brings back those harsh tops a little bit better. And a scale set to five on that and it is an omni and then I just blur that just a tiny bit, just because it was a little bit too harsh. You can see, you can really see it's super harsh right there and kind of along here and here. We just blur that out just a tiny bit. 
pump that into a zero borders just so it's a little bit easier to blend some things together and we get this as our final export. So quite a bit that we have done in this last week, um, kind of, well, at least it feels like quite a bit. Um, got this terrain kind of set up here to where we're, we got our final shapes and this is kind of the layout that we'll probably go with. I do plan on probably adding in some, some rock details in here, making some more rock details and kind of adding them throughout here. Um, but we'll look to start to work on some of that and hopefully maybe the facility itself here in the, the coming week as well. Um, if you guys don't remember, we'll go over kind of what that is going to look like in the, in the next video, our little concept art that we have. Or if you want to take a look, I think I threw that up in the project file on Patreon. I'm not sure, but it is in the original video as well. So we'll start to tackle some of that hopefully in the next week and then we'll look to start on the actual texturing of our landscape or maybe i'll do that first i don't know we'll see kind of which one seems like more fun or if you guys want to see one first just let me know but anyways that is kind of what we've been up to the last week again if you want to grab any of the project files any of the the height fields and everything, all that is included in Patreon. You can grab that on there. So all these sands, this desert mountain, this desert mountain, uh, the canyon, the transition for the canyon, uh, the desert floor here, all of those will be on Patreon if you would like to grab them on there. And as well as the, the project files on how to create them. So the Gaia stuff as well in there. So if you wanna grab any of that, as well as this Houdini project, you can do that. And like I said, I will probably go over this follow path constraint, uh, how to make a camera follow path in Solaris in another video. That way, if anyone's looking for that, they can easily find that without having to uh, watch like this whole devlog video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this project is uh, still piquing your interest. Let me know if there is anything you would like to see, anything that I didn't cover in depth enough that you would like me to cover more i can definitely go into more detail if you would like uh, one other thing before we go here uh, it is important to note all of these are at their highest resolution so the height field files those uh, our desert floor and our sand or sorry not our desert floor but um what was this was the second mountain right yeah so our second mountain or both of our mountains and the sand are at their highest resolution. And the canyon and stuff in the, the canyon and this desert floor, we will have to come back up to the height fields up here. And this height field, I did not mean to click on that, but this height field that we can set, we'll have to set this grid spacing down uh, if we would want to have a higher resolution and actually I think I set those down is this one set low oops not that one so this one we would need to drop down to like a 0.5 or something in order to get that detail back uh, but actually this detail on the, the ground is probably fine and then if we want more detail in the our terrain here because there is a uh, some kind of like blurriness to this we can come into this height field right here and drop the grid spacing down i'm not going to do that because it's going to take some time to calculate but that will make the this mountain and i guess all of this all of this a lot more detailed so uh if you are wondering where we lost our detail in this train specifically uh, that is where we can get it back but anyways like i said a lot has gone down over the last week uh, hopefully you guys see that in um, hopefully that was interesting to kind of see how it's progressed kind of quickly and how it's all kind of converged into one terrain. And like I said, if you're confused about anything, you want me to go over in more detail, anything, then go ahead and just let me know on that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.